So today in ZZZ, I want to talk about disk drives because I've been getting a lot of concerns across different platforms, like wondering how do you do this and where is this at and why is this not here? So the number one thing people are concerned about is how do I take one disk drive? Like how do I dump the XP from a disk drive into another one? You know, let's say I was using this level six piece, but I want to use this one instead. People are trying to figure out how to take this level six piece and dump it into this one. That's not an option. You can't do that. <laughs> there is no option for you to take a literal disk drive and dump it into a different one. What you have to do is when you get to this menu, this screen, you're going to click on a disk drive. The very, very top right hand corner is a little square. When you click on that, it's going to give you all your disk drives. Once you click on one on this screen, it's ready to dismantle one. And you can see what you're gonna get when you do that. These molded planting agents, this is XP for a disk drive. This is the only thing you can use to level up your disk drive. You have different variations of these, like, you know, one is greater than the other one, but this is what you want. The other pieces are actually for the music store. They're not exactly XP for leveling a disk drive. So that's what you need to actually do if you want to get XP. So now I have 13 of these. Now I can go to this one and you can still get rid of that other one that you had as well. Like if you had a piece you wanted to get rid of, just find that exact piece. So there it is. And you can see I get a blue one, right? So I get more XP because this one's level six. It has some levels on it and it's a, an S rank one. So dismantle that. And now I can go to the new one that I have that I want to use and I can use the XP that I just dismantled and you know, now I have XP for that. So I can see why it's confusing, right? I mean, like you're used to it in the last two games and it's not in this one. So once again, this drive square the top right hand corner, dismantle your pieces. You'll get this, whether it be this color, blue or purple, that is your XP for leveling up your disk drives. So to make things easier, if you play the previous games in Genshin Impact, you can just think of those artifact XP bottles. And in Hakai Star Route, you can think about the lost light dust or the lost crystals and that. It's basically just like dismantling these pieces to make artifact XP. As for number two, this is really important. So I want you guys to pay attention to this because believe it or not, I've had a handful of people ask me and wonder if they're doing something right or wrong here. So when you have a four piece set, now, I'm not actually using this on Billy, don't worry. <laughs> Just an example. I have Billy here on the ice set. Two piece gives him ice damage by 10%, right? Four piece gives him the rest of the passive. People were wondering if you have the same two piece again, do you get another bonus? So because I have all the same pieces, people would thought that if you had another two piece, you would get 20% ice damage. No. That is not the case. Please do not use six piece sets thinking that you're getting an extra bonus. Nothing happens when you have a six piece set of the same thing. I'm gonna get rid of myself here. Look at the bottom here, right? It tells you what you have on your character. Polar metal, two piece, polar metal, four piece. Nothing happens after that. You are only getting a four piece. Now, if I, you know, let's just say, for example, I put Swing Jazz on. Now you can see when this happens, I go back to this screen. Look at that. Two piece energy regen, Swing Jazz, two piece polar metal, and then the four piece. So that's how this is intended to work. You're supposed to have a four piece and a two piece. So once again, please do not run a six piece set assuming you're gonna get some kind of bonus out of that. There's no such thing as a six piece set and there's no such thing as doubling up on a two piece set when you already have a four piece of that set. But what you can do is you can have three sets of two pieces. So just a random set here, right? I got the two piece ice, I have two piece crit, and I have two piece anomaly. So you can have three different sets of two. Oh, one more thing too. There's always gonna be a number in parentheses next to your disk drive, and it's gonna be the top right hand corner of the actual disk drive picture if you're looking at this menu right here. You can see there's a, there's a six, there's a one, there's a two, there's a three. Those are just indicating what slot they go in. So one, two, three, four on the bottom, five, six. And it can be a real pain when you're farming because you might get a really good piece and it turns out you didn't notice it's a two and you already have a good two and then it's like, ah, you know what I mean? So keep in mind, 
the numbers. They're important because they matter which slot it's going in. Number three, at a certain point in the game, you will progress enough until you reach Bardic Needle. Once you can enter the store, you'll talk to Alfie here. And at the bottom left hand corner of the screen, you can see I am level three. These levels are locked by internet level. So once you unlock the store for the first time, it'll be level one, level two is level 35, and level three is 40. So what does that mean for you? Well, basically what's happening is you're unlocking different tiers of tuning. So at music store level one, you're only gonna have the option of beginner tuning, which is gonna give you B rank and A rank disc drives. At level two, you're gonna be able to make A ranks and S rank disc drives. Then once you hit level three, a long, long grind, you'll finally be able to make guaranteed S rank disc drives. And there may be a couple A ranks as well on the side, but you're guaranteed your S rank ones. Now, the very, very, very important thing about this is it's not exactly just a strong box like in Genshin Impact. This is actually a situation where you need specific materials to make them work. So these items are what you're going to need. This is the Audio Booster Master Copy, the lowest tier, so beginner tier. This is for the B rank and A rank drives. Then the pink one is gonna be your Noise Reduction Master Copy. This is for the intermediate level, so it's for the A and S ranks. Then you're gonna have the gold one, which is gonna be for the guaranteed S ranks, which is the level three advanced tuning. And what you can do, right? So let's say I have my beginner class here. I can hit track settings and I can hit cancel. What that does is it makes it so when I tune, I'm not actually gonna get any specific kind. So if it's gonna get up, she's gonna do her thing and you're gonna see a rainbow of different disc drives because I didn't pick a certain one that I wanted. So it's a pretty cool way to get like a bunch of them without actually picking a certain one. So you get like a, like I said, like a handful, a rainbow of different disc drives. But if you are looking for a specific one, make sure you actually pick the set that you want, right? If I went in front of metal, I would pick that and then do it again. You can do one at a time, you can do 10, but it's gonna cost you a lot of those materials. And you can actually pick a certain like slot that you want as well. So if I want an HP main stat, um, or like, like I said, the different numbers here, like from earlier, you want to actually make sure you're picking a certain one, because if you're missing that piece, that's the one that you want. So you can do like, you can do it in mass just randomly, or you can pick a certain slot and you can see it's going to cost you more if you pick a certain slot. So it really gets rough when you get to the S rank ones, because you can see it costs me three to do one and it costs me 30 to do 10. But if I pick one, look at that, six it costs now and it costs 60. So it gets expensive, man, it really does. And then there is a tuning calibrator. I'm gonna get out the way here. You can obtain these through hollow zero. That's the red one here. You can't use it on the first three because your main stats are locked HP, attack, and defense, right? The first three are always gonna be those stats. The other three are gonna be random as main stats. That's where this comes in. So if I click on number six, five, or four, I'm always gonna have the option to use the tuning calibrator. Number four is like your circlet, if you will, right? You can see the possible main stats there. It's gonna be attack, HP, defense, crit, crit damage, or anomaly proficiency. If you click on five, you're gonna see attack ratio, HP, defense, pin ratio, and then this is like your goblet, if you will, where you have your elemental damage types. Then number five, it kind of goes back to, you know, attack, HP, anomaly, mastery, defense, impact, energy recharge. You want to actually make sure you're picking a certain one because if you're missing that piece, that's the one that you want. So yeah, it starts to get pretty expensive in terms of resources. It starts to get pretty, pretty detailed and pretty uh, advanced once you get into this. So. It's pretty simple to understand, but there's just a lot of connecting components that can be kind of confusing. But at the end of the day, you really want to come to this when you're looking for a specific piece that you're missing. And that's what like the main thing that I would say personally, you know, you can use it to actually put together a set, but man, oh man, is it going to cost you? You know, I mean, like this is a lot. You don't have to pick a certain one and it'll be a little bit cheaper that way but assuming you want a specific main stat, you gotta use the tuner. And like I said, you only get these from Hollow Zero, which is an end game mode. You only get them from Hollow Zero. I don't know if there's another way to get them. Might be in the battle pass, but like a paid battle pass. I wouldn't even think about that. But basically that's what you're working with here. You can also dismantle them. 
it's the same menu from before like i showed you in the beginning um you can just open it on your your disk drive page same thing you'll probably you probably notice actually you get these as well it's all the same thing you know what i mean like it's not like this menu is different from the other menu dismantling is all of the same accord and then database is just showing you what they actually do so there is a bardic needle there's elfie and how she works you can use this to like make a build with like a rank pieces you know what i mean but remember that intermediate is s ranks like if i if i do this you know you'll probably get like a four star one but you have a good chance of getting an s rank so there you go you know what i mean like you will you'll get some s rank ones in there but if you do it in bulk you'll see some some a ranks too and trust me you'll be here first okay like you will not be there all the time trying to bank sets and get your full build for a character you'll be here this is the routine cleanup. This is basically like an artifact domain or a calx for artifacts or relics. Like this is where you get your dish drives from. So you'll be here most of the time in the end game, you know, trying to get these pieces. And then if you, like I said, if you need that one special piece, you need that one special piece, that's when it's time to go to Elf, the, the Bardic Needle. But that is mostly it. I gave you the best of luck on your dish drive farms. I know it's going to be a really long grind it's the end game essentially you know what i mean so you'll be here around level 40 45 50 because you'll have to actually be you know mid maxing your stats to get like better improvements to beat the end game mode like shoot defense hollow zero so you will be here trust me you will be here and like i said that special piece that you need that's when you go to elf but we have only 12 sets in the game right now and there are some some different ones that were in the beta that are not in 1.0 so you can go online look at those to see like what we might get in the future once again good luck on your farming that'll be all for me hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys could learn something from this video and i will catch you guys in the next one